Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jenna for anyone who is new here. Today we're doing a little bit of a spring oriented video and I'm going to run through my blazer collection with you. I have been wearing blazers maybe for only the past three-ish years and I feel like I've really refined my collection this season. I've added a couple in and then I've sold on some to better homes and this is like my core collection. I know it looks like a lot, but I seriously get so much use out of every single one of these. And blazers have easily become my favorite staple to wear in my closet, especially now that we're moving into spring. I feel like it's a perfect time to film this video. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already. I live in New York City and I film a ton of vlogs, fashion videos, and haul videos. So if you guys like that sort of content, then make sure you subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you. And we're gonna start off, so all of these are actually at really good price points. They're all from high street retailers, so nothing is at a like luxury price point, which is really nice because everything is super accessible. So if you don't have a blazer in your wardrobe, you definitely need one. And I don't normally like when people say you need something, but I think that a blazer is an essential to have in your wardrobe because it can be worn all year long and you will get so, so much use out of it. So with that being said, we are going to start with this blazer and this is my newest one. This one is from Nasty Gal and this is the most oversized fit that I have in my wardrobe. I really just fell in love with the texture. I actually saw this on someone in person and ended up ordering it after I asked her where it was from. So it's actually on sale for $58, which is insane for the quality of this blazer. And it's just the quality, the fit, the texture, it just adds so much character to it. And this is honestly like one of my top three probably, but that's like a really bold statement because I love all of them. So moving into spring, this looks really nice with trousers and a t-shirt. You can also wear shorts and a t-shirt with a pair of sneakers. Endless ways that you can wear this one, but I'll also be inserting pictures of each of these because I have photos in every single one of these. Um, just so you guys can see what they look like on, but this one also looks really gorgeous belted because it is more of an oversized fit. So to give yourself that waist is really, really pretty in my opinion. So I am insanely happy that I picked this one up and I will be wearing this well into the warmer weather. Okay, so then we're moving on to Zara. I kind of grouped these by store. So I have two from Zara, a black one and a white one. And this is the white blazer that I have. I got this a little while ago, but I felt like I needed to add a white blazer into my wardrobe because as we're moving more into spring, I needed something that was gonna be a little bit brighter as opposed to wearing my black blazer all the time. And I'm so glad that I grabbed a white one because this with light wash jeans and a white t-shirt looks so chic. You can also wear a white tee and black trousers if you're going to work. You can wear all black underneath. And this one is something that I thought I wasn't gonna get as much use out of, but when it gets a little warmer out and you're moving into summer even, I feel like it's nice to have something that's a little bit more of a brighter color that you could still take all throughout your spring and summer season. And then in contrast to that, I have my black blazer. And this one, like I said, is also from Zara. It's a very oversized fit in the body of it, but the arms fit true to size. So I kind of like that because I can still get the oversized look throughout the body without the sleeves being too big for me. So just your standard black blazer, honestly, in terms of quality, it was, I think $70. So I think that it is very well aligned with the quality. I have a love hate relationship with Zara, but I really do like their tailoring. And I feel like the price is pretty fair considering I've worn this blazer so many times. I also really like that it has these like tortoise shell buttons just cause it warms it up a little bit. Not that you can really tell from far away, but a black blazer, if anything, if you're gonna pick up any blazer in your wardrobe, I would say to wear a black one cause you truly can wear this all year round. Whereas some of the other ones that I have are just specific to certain seasons. Okay, so then we'll move on to a wool blend number. This one is my sob story because I, had picked this up in a store after I saw it on an Instagram account and she lives in Europe. And I was like, there's no way they're gonna offer this to the US. And my friend had actually told me that it was in the Herald Square store. So I left work that day and went straight to the store and they actually had it in stock. So this is not available online, but one that I show you guys a little bit later does come in this gray color and it's super similar. So I will link that one for you guys. But I had just started adding wool brushed like textured blazers like this in my wardrobe this year and did not realize how much use I would get out of it and how much I needed it. Because having something like this that's a little bit heavier, honestly, is just a little bit more functional. I can wear my black blazer still in the winter time. Oh, 
pause for the sirens. So I can obviously still wear my black blazer during the winter time, but having something like this that looks a little bit more like it's for that season specifically in the same way that my white one is more for the spring and summertime, that's why I wanted to add in something like this that has a little bit more texture. Again, it's more oversized than the other ones that I've had in my wardrobe. And then I just fell in love with this charcoal gray color throughout this entire season. I bought a lot of charcoal gray this year. And so I'm fully on board with the textured blazers, especially since we get like nine months of cold weather in New York. I felt like this was gonna be a really practical addition. So another one from H&M that I got in store is this kind of like light plaid patterned oversized fit. And so this one I actually picked up last summer when it was still blazing hot out and like unreasonable to think about even wearing something with sleeves. But I was like, I know that I'm going to want that once fall rolls around and I've worn this a crazy amount. I basically live my life in blazers and that's why I've gotten so much use out of every single one of these so far. Um, but this one, I just loved the way that it has like a little bit more movement to it. The fabric is definitely thinner than the other ones that I have, but the lining is a little bit more soft than some of the other ones that I own. And this one is actually, I think it was $35 or $40, which is crazy considering the fabric and the construction of it. I think it's actually a really nice shape and I would not be able to tell that this was $40. I just think that H&M does certain things really, really well. And then they do other things that are not so well, kind of like Zara in my opinion, but I will try to find one similar for you guys because I know this one's a little bit old, but really love this one, love the pattern and the fit. And then another brushed wool. So we are moving into the naked fashion portion of this blazer video. And we're starting with my Black, brown, brown blazer. This one is from the Chloe Rose collaboration and I am completely obsessed with Chloe Rose. I love her fashion. I think that she is so chic and this was one of the collections that they shot in New York actually. So this blazer comes in gray and it comes in navy blue and I honestly am really looking at the navy blue one but because we're moving into warmer weather, it's 50 degrees and sunny in New York today. I feel like it's too late in the season for me to buy it, but who knows? You guys know I don't really have too much control when it comes to being like fixated on something that I know I would wear a ton. So this brown blazer is absolutely stunning. I actually got this kind of like textured wool one before I got the gray one that I just showed you guys from H&M. And the fit of this one is just a little bit more narrow than the gray brush wool one. So I actually like that they're a little bit different aside from the fact that they're different colors. And then this one has just like small little details like this triangle pocket. It has two front pockets, which I don't know why in all of my blazers, the flaps are tucked in. I just think that's a little weird. And then we have a double like tortoise button at the front. So really chic. I honestly grabbed this because I've been loving the brown and black combination, but I think this would look really cool with like washed black jeans, a white tee, and just something that looks really effortless that you can throw over an outfit when it's not too cold out anymore. Okay, so for the last blazer that I have, this one I saw on Chloe Rose, and she had this a very long time ago, but they still had it on the website, thankfully. So I picked it up as soon as I placed an order on Naked Fashion, that's like my new favorite place to shop. And this one is basically a similar fit to the brown one that I just showed you, but very different in terms of the pattern, the texture. This is kind of like the inside out version of the first blazer that I showed you because this has more of a white base with kind of like a gray speckle throughout as opposed to just being a black base with white. This one is actually warm enough to be worn as a coat on its own too, which I loved because when it was still absolutely freezing in New York, I was wearing this as a like actual blazer and then I would throw a jacket over the top of it. But now I feel like I could shed that top layer and just wear it on its own, which I love because I feel like this piece deserves to be the main focus of my outfit. I liked that this one had some contrast buttons on the front. The weight of this fabric is so nice. It's like hurting my arm, not because I just did a workout for the first time in a really long time, but because the blazer has such a nice weight to it. And it also has a little bit of a shoulder pad in it just to create that structure because the fabric's a little bit heavier, which I love. So really small details in this one that I feel like the designer really paid attention to in order to make this a really nice and like structured minimal piece. And I definitely feel like this one serves a different purpose in my wardrobe and the fact that it can be worn as a coat on its own. Okay, you guys, so those are all of the blazers that I have 
in my wardrobe currently. I'm sure it will change at some point in my life again, but I feel like I'm really happy with this lineup here and I feel like it covers every single area of my wardrobe that I could possibly need. Oh, the sun comes out now when I'm ending off the video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Please leave recommendations for any other parts of my capsule wardrobe that you guys would like to see or know more about, and I would be happy to film those for you guys. But I hope you're all doing super well, and I will see you in my next video.